So we are getting ready to leave for Cape York in about three weeks. We hitch up and leave. Josh is in there at the moment doing some modifications. Now let's see what he's doing. What's going on here? Oh, uh, what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> what missing parts? Huh? Missing parts? Oh, just that lithium system we put in months ago. Oh, when was it? Last year? Yeah. It's not really going to keep up, so we're just going to do it all ourselves because we can't get it booked in anywhere. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. Yeah. So, because we already had two of those original batteries, we're going to go to, we've added another three because you can't chop and change batteries, they're all going to be the same. Yeah. So, it's going to join all these together now. We've got some new cable here. Going to join all them together. And then, straight out from there, we've got to mount a, the um, shunt that's under the seat at the moment, that's going to be mounted in here now. And that earth will go straight to the shunt. And everything will go on the other side of the shunt. So see how that goes. Apart from that, never done this before. See Apart how from it that goes. last little setup, which I don't think really works properly. Just going to go nice and slow and try and get it right and see what we get out of it. Still got a power inverter. I'm going to leave a little gap just there in the corner. So there'll be a gap just in there. We'll make that a power inverter. Um, I've got some circuit breakers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See how we go. Just try and neaten a few things up and try not to take up too much storage. Pringles. I do a one speed motion. Just hold it up. Just hold it up. So 
So what are we done? So far. Time out here. It's a little bit quick what we're doing. We'll just put this on here just for a fuck just for a moment. So that'll run through there. Goes out over the top of the roof there. It's a bit hard to see. got is this piece here I made up, slides into this frame, can you see that? Yeah. This piece here slides into this frame here, otherwise the boat's going to hit the back of the car, but we can't weld this on because the boot won't open with this frame here. So what we've done is just we're just trialling things out. This is the first time it's been up on the roof with a winch. But we've got our set length ratchet straps at the moment, which will just be fixed carabiners. And basically just made up this little H frame here. It goes on the tow bar. That's too high. Uh, that's too low. So as the boat comes up, this top of the hull is right at the top here. So I've got to cut that off and raise these so they sit about here. And I reckon we'll be right. Um, this hook here, what we've done, come around here back, we're going, going through the handles and back on itself so it pulls from the centre and they actually work quite well. So that went, that went up over the top there, but if you stay there a minute, this the problem we're having is I've welded this on square with the rest of the frame but I need to move this piece here over that way a little bit because at the moment this lines up with that awning so what happened is when we first put this up just now the boat went up, it actually went up alright but the, the edge of the boat come down on the awning so all I've got to do is cut that rear frame off move it across and I'll make some pins up just so it does stay in there That's about it. Um, but yeah, the, really, the high mount winch is it's a bit too quick for this, but it is what it is, mate. We'll just keep running up for now. It's not really good for the winch, I don't think, being on and off all the time either, but... We need a bit of roller too. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's it so far. That's that's how we've uh, set it up. So we're just going to run another bracket in for that awning, I think, and bolt that bracket to this frame. We'll bolt that awning to this frame as well, same as that corner over there. At least the brackets had hide it.
Okay guys, so as you just seen that big of ice that was just outside then, I came into the freezer the other day and just to see what it was and to clean it out, get ready for our trip away, then there was all that ice on the bottom of the freezer. Um, there was an ice cream box left in there which was stuck to the ice. Um, so what had happened was when we redid our lithium system last week, there was a wire that we accidentally left off which happened to be the fridge. So it defrosted and we had a half bag of ice in there. So oh, that went into liquid. Then when we plugged it into 240 while we were doing lithium, oh after we did that, it refroze and it was just a massive ice block on the bottom of the freezer. It surprisingly came out in one piece. Um, so yeah, now I've just got to wipe it out, clean it up, and load it up, ready for us to leave in a couple of days. So yeah, stay tuned. What'd you do? Can't do much off. <laughs> You ready? No. How are we going? Yeah. Okay. I had to tell you before I fall asleep. Sitting there on the edge, babe. Knowing which way to lean. So we finally made it on the road yesterday. It was a bit of a late start. We, st mission, huh? we still left on the first, so we didn't miss that. We're on schedule. Yeah. We got to Boondi Rock Campground, which is about 100k south of Coolgardie, I think. Yeah. Not southwest. Um, we're just coming into Kalgoorlie now. I'm uh, gonna grab a few supplies for the car and van and then try and hit it down close as close as to the Nullmoor as we can. See how we go today. So that Bundy Rock, that was actually pretty cool. It's a free campground. You got all your own little areas as you go in there, it's surrounded by rocks and uh, that was a dam there. So yeah. it'd be a pretty cool little spot really. We just put the drain up but we'll throw in a bit of footage that we had from there. Yeah. Uh, are we going to Boulder? I don't know where we're going. Uh, go straight on. Um, so, oh, well, I'm not stopping now. Yeah. First traffic light we go through, I just go Reynolds. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in cow now. We, we want to pick up a fire extinguisher for the car. We want to get a new jack for the van because that was yeah. the day going. And there's a couple of things earlier. Really, eh? Beck left the hard drives at home for the. Uh, all the video editing and all that, so... What did you forget? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Gas line for the barbecue. Yeah, we're going to have gas lines for the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've still got some mods we're going to do on the road. We're going to hook up those gas lines, secure the barbies down, and hopefully... Yeah. Good to go. Good to go, yeah. A few things here in Cal, yeah. we're going to try and get out of it. 
So we're going to tell our kid they're filming down in the car because the exhaust is bloody loud and all the road noise. So I was just pick up over there. And the two-way noise, yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll show you when we get down there. Let's go. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> We're going to need new window regulators soon. Yeah. Mom. Mom. Yeah. Do I have it? No. I don't know. Need to try and make some stuff work here. I'm trying to put that on there. If it goes, mm -hmm. I'm gonna hook up two gas lines to that. If they go, but I think we need one more gas line. Yeah. Which one is that? I do find one hydraulic shop, I don't know. It's backwards for today. We've just pulled up for a bit of lunch. We are between, oh, we're just out of Norseman. Um, so yeah, pull up, have some lunch, and see if we're gonna hit the road again or if we're just gonna chill for a bit. But this is a little gravel spot just off the side of the road. Nothing too flash. It's a bit, it's still a bit cold here, but yeah. Kyle's just enjoying some grapes at the moment. Have you got grapes? Yeah. Big grape? Little grape? Yeah. Yeah? Another big grape. Yeah, eat them up.